Not a lot of things are explained to you when you first begin Sea of Thieves. You're given a few weapons and a vague direction about where to start, but that's about it. We've spent some time with the game and can offer a few tips to get your pirating adventure started off right. Occasionally, you'll be tasked either by a riddle or a voyage to walk a specified amount of steps in a direction to find buried treasure. While first-person legs are non-existent in the game, pulling out your trusty compass may help you out. Once you have it equipped, hold the right trigger to bring it up to your face and walk forward. The controller will vibrate with every step you take, making step counting a breeze. Cannons are very helpful in combat situations, but here are some pointers on how to maximize their effectiveness against opposing players or the Kraken. First, it's always smart to prime your cannons by preloading them. Before a battle begins, make sure you're holding spare cannonballs for fast reloads. When attempting to down an enemy ship, don't keep firing at the same location. You want them running around searching for holes in the ship, so spread them out. Aim for the water line so when a hole is created, it instantly starts filling with water. And of course, cannons don't exist just to shoot cannonballs. If you walk to the side of a cannon and there is no cannonball in it, you can put yourself in there and shoot yourself to an island. Need to pull off a sharp turn? Start turning the wheel hard in the direction you desire, then drop the anchor to handbrake turn the boat in the same direction. It's a nice tactic if you're being pursued, but you'll still want to raise your anchor back up quickly or have your crew on standby to do the legwork. If you don't want to drop anchor, remember that raising your sails will also give you a tighter turn at the cost of reduced speed. You've completed your mission, and now it's time to reap the rewards. But watch out! Outposts are for everyone, and they are PvP zones. When approaching an outpost, be sure to scout ahead with your spyglass for enemy ships. If you spot one, you could simply wait for them to leave, betting on the odds that they aren't AFK. You could also try taking them on before attempting to unload your treasure, but of course that's risky. We recommend using a stealth approach. All you need to do is turn in the treasure, so either try sneaking to the vendor from the opposite side of the island, or run there as fast as you can to nail a quick turn in. Surprise! Pirates are common in the world of Sea of Thieves, so you'll want to safeguard your treasure as much as possible. If you've collected a chest and you're on your way back to an outpost, look around your ship for unique places to hide your prized possession. Hide it on the balcony area of the captain's quarters on galleons, or try dragging it all the way up to the crow's nest. You can even drop a chest on the crossbar that supports the ship's sails. Your boat is sinking and there's no saving it, but what about the treasure? Thankfully, treasure chests will float to the surface where you'll get a chance to salvage them. This won't last long, so be quick. Keep this in mind for downed enemy ships, too. Sea of Thieves features four weapon types, the pistol, the cutlass, the blunderbuss, and the long-range sniper rifle. But did you know these weapons are all available from the start? When you begin the game, you'll have the pistol and the cutlass equipped. To change your loadout, just head to the armory box, located on your ship or in front of the weapons vendor, and use the shoulder buttons to move through the different weapons you can equip to your loadout. It's good to have the element of surprise, right? Make sure to shut off your ship's lanterns when the sun goes down. The moon offers plenty of light, so there is no need to light up like a Christmas tree for any treacherous foes to see. Lanterns give off a yellow glow and can easily be seen from a distance. Similarly, some high-level rewards give off a bright glow, so be sure to transport these in your ship's hold at night. The ground combat in Sea of Thieves is fairly bare bones, but there is some strategy to utilize here. When taking on a group of skeletons, instead of just recklessly mashing your attack button, kite the skeletons around. Once you've got a good group of them, hold the right trigger and hit them with a devastating lunge. You can also use your lunge attack to travel through the water quickly. Also, the skeletons are a crack shot with guns, so for an easy win against this, bring your ship close to the island and pick them off with a sniper rifle using your ship's infinite ammo crate. And for tougher fights against skeletons, try bringing your boat close to the location of your targets and send one pirate to round them all up. The other crew members can make quick work of even the biggest group with a few well-placed cannon shots. That's it for now, but if you've discovered any cool tips or tricks, make sure to let us know and check out our wiki page for even more help with the game. Also, check out our Sea of Thieves graphics comparison and the first 10 minutes of the game.